To me, I would not even mess around with cleaning this thing. Touch it. It's just so well preserved, it's incredible. Frank and I have seen some really cool stuff here at Walton K's, but nothing we've seen compares to this Jello wagon. Jello ice cream powder. Look at that, is that a green tint? To me, that doesn't that have a green tint? Look at that. Yeah. I think the whole thing was a dark green, and then over time, it just aged into this that black, green, you know, with soot and stuff, because if you look right here, it's like a really deep forest green. Somebody fixed the wheel there at one time. Yeah, when you see it? yeah I didn't even see that. Yeah, well, yeah. It just somebody fixed it just to make it go. Even though it's not perfect, the condition of the wagon is amazing. Even underneath of it is incredible. I mean, there's just like one board that's popped up, maybe even just from shrinkage. The condition of the paint takes it from here to here. It's a piece of transportation history, and that's what we like to buy. So now that you've seen it, and it's original, yeah, it's definitely original. Uh, we've had some offers thrown out on it before. You know, some of them were really low-balled offers. What was and, a low-ball offer? Uh, the guy came in, offered about $3,000 for all three carriages. For this one and the other two? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah, what he said. Yeah. And so, based on the research that I've been able to do, we're estimating it would fetch somewhere, realistically, between eight and $10,000. Yeah. That's what I was thinking too, between eight and ten. Because as a wagon itself, you know, it's mm -hmm. it. twenty five hundred bucks. Yeah, then if it, it had no, if it had no advertising on it whatsoever. Right. But the paint is incredible. You know, it's gonna obviously have to be shipped in an enclosed trailer. Mm -hmm. You never want to have it in the elements. I don't think they're off, but I'm looking at what it's gonna cost me to get it from here to Iowa, and then how long am I gonna hold on to it? Because it's gonna take a very specialized buyer sixty five hundred. And that's me leaning towards, you know, hopefully thinking that it's closer to 10. Okay. Because I'm going to have, uh, I'm figuring I'm going to have at least, let's say round right. numbers, I'm going to have at least 500 in the shipping. In which, the shipping. Yeah, okay. so I'm thinking right off the bat, I'm into it for seven. You know, it's, your father had a great eye. And he also had the ability to store it. Yeah. To be a good caretaker of it, so hats off to him. And you obviously would not want it outside. It really deserves to be in a museum. Uh, I'd like to get more. It's just such an unusual piece. It's incredible. We have never bought a wagon before, but the history is clear. It says it right on the wagon. It's original paint. 6,500. And that is what's so exciting about it. Uh, yeah, I'd like to get more, but I, 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 I know you gotta make a little money down the line, and that's... Daddy, Daddy always said to... you gotta leave something on the table. For the next guy. For the next guy. I think that's realistic, and I think that's a fair deal. Right. 65. All right. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's a cool piece. It's story, it's condition, it's transportation, it's American industry, and that's why it's an amazing piece. It's like a day-to-day -day treasure hunt. I'm out there looking for rusty gold. I'm looking for the unusual and impossible. It's back roads, it's dumpster diving, it's flea markets, it's people's homes.